Farm fresh veggies 365 days a year. Sounds kind of hard to accomplish in Wisconsin, right? But a 150-year-old farm near Sheboygan is doing it thanks to aquaponics. It is just one stop on an upcoming spring farm tour. Actually, every morning when I walk in, it's open the door and, wow, I did that. The greenhouse at Lake Orchard Farm Aquaponics in Sheboygan is a breath of fresh air year round. I mean, obviously winters, uh, the sun is lower in the sky, our growth rates get to be a little bit longer, our expenses get to be more in terms of utility costs, but the consistency in the lettuce and how the lettuce really appears does not change. Everything just looks great all the time. This wasn't always how farming looked at this lakeshore operation. Well, the history and evolution came from me needing to figure out a different ag market than what I had come back to on my wife's historic farm. So the farm has been in her family since 1848, and when I came back, it was in a rundown state of raising heifers in a very old fashioned way. Uh, spent 13 years raising heifers, uh, many of which we didn't make really hardly any money at all. Very difficult to uh, plan for the future and saving for college educations and things such as that on that kind of a budget. The family knew they wanted to remain part of the food supply chain. It boiled down to what kind of ag enterprise would we like to get into. I did a lot of reading. We considered, you know, sod farming, fish farms and ponds and things like that. And then I was reading in Successful Farming Magazine, which made a lot of sense because obviously I wanted to be a successful farm, uh, about aquaponics. And immediately I'd recognized it from my 1986 trip to Disney World in Epcot Center. And uh, obviously it had gotten a little bit more involved and a little bit more business minded, sustainable wise uh, prior to this article. But reading up on it, it made a lot of sense. Aquaponics uses the waste from fish to feed plants. The plants clean the water where it is returned to the fish habitat. But instead, using that fish waste and feeding those fish saves us money, and we get the fish as an offshoot. And the fish is a very healthy fish. We use tilapia, uh, and their growth rate is what we, the reason that drives us in that. So we get the fish. They're about 1 50th of an ounce at four weeks old. By the time they're 14 months, they weigh about five pounds. So that's a lot of fish meat. Nate liked the idea that he could grow food year-round without pesticides, herbicides, or chemical fertilizers and using a lot less land than conventional crops. Transparency is key to success, in my opinion, from an agriculture standpoint. Uh, Pre-COVID, but now more than ever, people were starting to lock on to eating local, knowing where your source is, um, paying attention to how things are being grown, how things are being produced, uh, whether or not it's conservation, again, of resources or just knowing that it's safe to eat. I had an individual at one point in time that came in, asked if I had bugs on my lettuce, I said, yes, I do. And he said, well, that's really great to hear because if a bug can live on your lettuce, I can live on your lettuce. We have about 20 varieties of things here, mainly lettuces. There's probably about 10 to 15 different types of lettuces, but I do grow different types of herbs, tomatoes, um, cucumbers. I've done zucchini, so pepper plants. We've had quite the, quite the variety of different things. And as chefs come along and request things, I'm game to try. The farm harvests around 55,000 heads of lettuce each year. Starting from seed, I seed generally on Mondays and within 24 to 48 hours, everything is germinating already. And then we're moving the plants over and usually within 60 days between all our moving processes, we are cutting those full grown heads off. Nate offers tours, speaks to school groups and other budding farmers, hoping more people will take a dip into aquaponics. Lake Orchard has an on-farm store. You saw some video of it. You can purchase fresh produce and fish. You'll want to check out their Facebook page for current offerings. And that property is also home to a bed and breakfast and event space. You can visit four farms for free during the Manitowoc County Spring Farm Tour. This is happening April 29th through May 1st, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. each day. See the map and find details in the Midwest Farm section of wearegreenbay.com.